Hi, welcome to my channel. Tonight I just want to help maybe somebody that's new to stamping kind of see up close what some of these terms are with don't put too much pressure on the stamp but make sure you put enough don't scrape too hard don't scrape too soft picking up some some fine lines some fine details some full coverage and then some specific shapes just some things like that and the difference in stamping between cream polishes and metallic polishes uh, i would recommend as a beginner to start with cream polishes they seem to work better or easier I should say than metallic polishes so just for the ease of the video in case I do make a mistake I am going to use a swatch stick that has black gel polish white gel polish and then just a natural color that have already been cured because if I make a mistake I can wipe it off and it won't mess up the the polish because it's already been cured if I use regular nail polish every time I made a mistake and wiped it off, then this would be very tedious. I find it helpful to have everything you're going to need handy. That includes a stamper. I have a Maniology Ice Cube stamper. Uh, this is not my preferred stamper, so I have a couple other ones handy. I have a monocle stamper. And I also have another brand's monocle stamper, but it's a small one, but it has this long handle on it. And it's the brand Queen. And I just, for my hands, it just works better for the motion. So sometimes it's the tools you're using, not necessarily the technique you're using. For stamper, uh, I'm sorry, for scrapers, they come in different thicknesses depending on the brand. Most Maniologies are kind of a medium flexibility. I really like them. They come in, Maniology has small ones, and then they also have the larger ones. I like both of them a lot. Uh, and then let's see. I also have the one that came with my Queen stamper. And as you can see, this is super flexible. And for me, that just, you can't, I don't get a good scrape with it. So for the sake of recording purposes, I'm gonna have my little Maniology scrapers here. Um, I also have cotton balls and something to pick up the cotton balls. You can use like a pincher style tweezer, like you pinch it to open it grab something and then when you let go it holds it you just have to be careful with the cotton that you don't scrape your plate uh, but I actually really that's my preferred method to do it and then Maniology has this adorable pineapple shaped topper and you press it and the tongs come out like that and you can just pick up the cotton and again you want to be careful if you're using a pump top because I'm always bending prongs and breaking the cheaper versions of this. And this is to clean off your plate. The other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is acetone. I have 100% acetone here as well. Or you don't want to touch your stamper head with acetone because it'll make it cloudy and eventually it'll start cracking and then you can't see through it where you're going to be placing your stamp. And then everybody uses something different. I like using just regular cheap scotch tape, but I like it on this heavy scotch um, dispenser because, and I keep it like right next to me and I can pull off tape as I need it. And that is for cleaning up when you pick up an image. If you don't want pieces of it, you can easily remove it with the tape. Some people prefer to use a lint roller. Excuse me, mine is full of fuzz and stuff because I was just cleaning all my mats and everything and I like to keep a I have a silicone mat that covers my surface and then I have like this this little one it's actually a baking mat and so I have that also but then I keep a paper towel because when you scrape I don't want to leave it on here because of the buildup it can affect so you just wipe it off 
So that's a lot of information, but the good thing about the video is that you can pause and rewind whenever you need to. So I am going to demonstrate some of these techniques with Maniology's M012 plate. And I'm starting with this one because this one is actually, um, comes with, it's one of the starter kits you can choose. So I thought that was a good one. I tend to scrape from the middle down. And then if I'm doing it this way, I scrape from the middle down. I'm going to use white first. I believe these are like little snowflakes and stars. So that's what we'll start with. My light is a little low. And I did that on purpose so that there's not so much glare so you can kind of see. So when you're putting, oh, my, my cap is stuck. Give it a little tug. All right, there we go. When you're putting your polish down, you don't want to, you don't want to flood the plate, but you also need to make sure, you know, you, you want enough. So, um, just that's not enough, but my white is kind of low. And some people cover the entire image. I do not. You want to do this fairly fast. This is how I hold mine. I'm going to hold it up like this so you can kind of see the angle. And I just swipe and wipe. And then I will hold it at an angle and I just roll up. And this is what the tape is for, is to, you know, I don't want, I want to make sure I don't transfer that big chunky line anywhere. So I'm going to take that off. You just use the edge of the tape to take off the pieces that you don't want. And then you can take your stamper. And on the black, so I'm sorry. So I get full coverage and I kind of touched it a little bit. And then you're just going to press down. Not too hard because you'll pop the stamper right through the back, just like that, and that's it. I'll try to demonstrate in a couple more angles so you can see that better. Let's go ahead and we're going to do straight up black on top of the white now, and I'm just going to go down the line and use the next design. And again, not too much polish, but you want enough, you want to be able to cover when you're starting out, I think having a little bit more is better than less. So again, I'm going to just roll it really gently, just kind of kissing it. I'm not pushing down on it. And then I'm going to do it this way. Let me get it lined up like this so that you can see it from an angle and see. I'm just going to push straight down and then slowly bring it back up. So you can see, I'm going to use another, I'm sorry, I'm going to use a different color for this next one. I'm going to use this really bright pink. It's called Pumps from Maniology. And you can't paint, you can't go back over the ones that still have polish on them. That's why I'm just going down the line. Just paint it on. If you feel more comfortable, you can paint it over the whole image. go mm -hmm. we're just gonna go right smack down so this will be a good one with these really fine lines I'm gonna use quasar it's kind of a pinkish red um, so I'm going to do about this much, just like kind of a glob. Wipe it off. I didn't clean my stamper, so I'm going to switch stamper heads real quick. And then just kiss it on real gentle. Pop that off. And then we're going to put this right over that black. You can kind of roll it to get the sides if you need to. However, some stampers, that'll leave like a crease if you 
do it too hard and it can kind of break up the image. I don't know if that really happens with maniology stampers, but it's happened to me with other stampers. I will do, I'm not gonna do these French tip ones, uh, kinda, because it's a, I mean, I guess I could, I guess I could do like this cute heart one. And then again, show you the bubble, just scrape. Pick up. If you're quick, sometimes you can just pop those little pieces off that you need to clean with your finger or your glove or the card. I'm usually not very successful. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop that right here on this tip. And you can kind of see it over each other. I'm just trying to give you a, an example of how it looks. Now I'm going to switch to a metallic so you can see. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to demonstrate what, what I've noticed. Oh, I got a slice of my new stamper. So I'm going to use this purple metallic fox glove. Actually, I think they consider this one a duochrome and I'm going to use it with this little swirl stars and I'm going to put that over the white. So here we go. Like this. And you can, I don't know if you actually can see that. It's very light. And that can kind of be the issues with some of these when you're just putting them on like you'll be able to see because it's metallic you're not getting the not metallic duochrome it's it's a little bit more faint when you use that with those finer details like that though these are good if you're going to use maybe a thicker design or reverse stamping. Let's try it on this bigger one and see how it looks. Something with a lot more um, definition to it. So again, this scrape. I think I got a little bit of that pink in there. There's something on the plate. I don't know if it's going to affect it. And you can see it. I'm just going to stamp it over the natural color. see with a thicker image you get a much better look at the color but that's typical for I find the duo chromes the metallics things like that let's let's see if we can do one that's like actual metallic and not just duo chrome so I think this uh, candy apple is maybe just described more as just a metallic. So I have another swatch here. So first I'm going to go with this fine detail right here. I love this image. Um, I don't really get to use it though because it's not going to, it's going to look kind of weird on a square tip instead of a like stiletto. I just think these would look so good. This image would look so good on a stiletto or an almond. almond. I have a weird accent sometimes. I say almond, but look at that. That is super cute. I really like that image. And then that one is actually not a very good example of something not showing up well. So let's try of a metallic not showing out. This is a really bright one. I had these colors out because I was going to, you can see some of my image, I'm trying to get it somewhere where you can see some of my image didn't pick up, but that's okay. There's something that looks like it's already right there. There we go. 
It's actually a really nice color. That wasn't a good example of a, oops, of a metallic that doesn't pick up. Oh, but those are really nice. Let's put something on the white. Let's try one of these other fine details over here. This little air paper airplane with the trail is the very first stamp I ever did. And let's see, I need a lighter color, something that's gonna show up on the black. Let's just do white. I'm gonna do this bow. And I got some other color kind of mixed in there. So I think this would be real cute up there. There's like this whole coquette trend right now, which is super girly, super fun, super pink, super, super bow, teddy bears, just very girly stuff. And so that's really cute. And I'm gonna do this like horseshoe with the floral too just so you can see. The reason why I always stamp toward, I tend to scrape from the middle out is because sometimes if I'm gonna scrape from here, I'll kind of get stuck and it'll make my scraper stick. So that's why I do that. So this is a really cute horseshoe. It's really nice. The stamper, you can, like I said, if you wipe it off in between, you don't get all that buildup on it. I don't really worry about the back or anything. So to clean my plate, I'm gonna get my little cotton picker upper and my cotton ball and 100% acetone. I'm gonna gently push on the side so I don't break my picker upper. And then you're just gonna gently wipe your plate. I should have been cleaning it in between so it didn't get too dry. I'm just going to use a natural tip if they don't have any colors painted on them. I am going to use this purple. It's a cream purple. It's called Baroque. And I don't think I've ever used this color before. I might have had a little too much. Sometimes if you don't let the acetone dry or you put too much, it can um, kind of sit in the crevices. I say crevices, I kind of mean the etching. So that did pick up well. Now we'll just go ahead and stick it up here. I am moving it back and forth since it has those lines. Ooh, so you can see I kind of maybe picked up a little fast. So I'm not really talking about needing a sticky base coat or that your polish needs to be sticky. I think that information is covered really well in lots of videos. And not that this isn't. Um, I just really struggled to see those angles that people were talking about when I was starting. And they, they might have new ones out there now, but they didn't at the time. So I just kind of want to Give it a go myself. <clears throat> Maybe to help somebody else. Plus, no matter how how good you know the videos are, we don't all learn the same. So I can watch the same technique by several different people, but sometimes it just doesn't click until I watch that that one person, you know, and. Um, yeah, if if anybody finds this helpful, then that's all I was going for. Uh, I think I'm gonna put this down here, kind of as like a Frenchy. And yeah, I think it's because these, um, I'm not getting full transfer because I do not have a sticky base coat or polish down on these nails. It's just the the plastic tip and so the polish doesn't really like stick into it. So 
that's probably not a good example. But mainly what I was trying to get across is just, you know, how you how you angle that that um how much polish to put on, how you angle your scraper and the pressure and the pressure and angle of the stamper. So this is uh, Winterberry and this is a duochrome red and we might be able to get an example of how this you know doesn't always show up if you're trying to do it on finer details well maybe not I think these I think reds are just bright so I'm not doing very good examples with that that one actually stopped pretty good though, but that looks really nice. And try to like not put your stamper head face down on surfaces because <laughs> you it picks up everything. And like I just did, I let it fall over. Let me see if I can find a quick metallic that kind of doesn't show up as well. they're here I just don't know which ones which ones they are maybe it's the duo chromes I'm thinking of but let's go ahead and give it some more whirls I love stamping so much I could sit here and do this all day I just really enjoy it So I'm going to show you how much polish I'm putting. So you can see that big glob. And then this is going to be kind of the angle and pressure. And then kiss it. I picked up some purple leftover stuff. And then to transfer it, you just press it down. Yeah, you see the duochromes, maybe that's what I was thinking of. They just don't have good um I mean this subtle I shouldn't say it's not good it is it's it's just subtle but if you use one of these bigger ones like these zigzags I think you'll be able to see a lot more of it It'll be a lot clearer, yeah. So just, you know, it depends on what look you're going for. The duo chromes are a lot more subtle if you're trying to do fine details. And But like when you do it over with a more solid image, it does work really well. And then just to go ahead and put something on this bottom one. I'm going to try the, this one again. I just love this image so much. I, know I already said that, but... And, you know, you should be cleaning off your stamper in between... In between stamping. See, you can't, you can't see it like you can with that red, red one. But it's there, you know. It's, it's still, it's subtle, it's beautiful. It may show up better on black. Oh, look, I found a black one. Let's see what it, the swirly one looks like over. Forgot I had set this one aside. That looks really nice over black. I don't, I don't really even know if you can see that in the low light, but it is beautiful and that's it I'm not gonna do any more uh, I hope somebody finds this useful again I'm I'm not really going over base coats and taking care of everything I mainly just wanted to give some examples of the angle and pressure that you scrape with and the kissing of the image you can see how my stamper doesn't, I'm not pushing, I'm not going, it's just, just a little kiss, just a little roll. 
not everybody rolls their stamper. You can roll it this way and still you just, you just kiss. And some people for some images, they, you know, do a quick, the only problem with that is you have to make sure your stamper is, has enough pressure, but still not enough to do that. I hope y'all like this video. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I am always here to help. I, I have, I'm just obsessed with stamping right now and I've just been practicing and doing swatches and samples so much. I'm just really getting a really good feel for it. And I, you know, it's kind of like practicing handwriting or something. It kind of becomes muscle memory. Like I don't really even have to think about it. I just, you know, whoo, and just go and I can feel and I know I still mess up. That doesn't mean I don't mess up, but it, what it means is it, like if I, ooh, you know, I can feel when I'm doing something wrong because of that muscle memory. My muscles know I did something weird. So if you want to see any more stamping tutorials by me, how to's, things like that, let me know in the comments. I would be up for doing some more. This is just informational. I am a Maniology ambassador and I do have a discount code for 10% off regular price items down below. And also don't forget to pick up your um, free starter kit, pay shipping, and, pay shipping and handling if you're interested and wanna get into the world of stamping. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.